The Sorrowful Mystery of the Rosary of Love The First Sorrowful Mystery The Agony of Jesus Fruit of the Mystery Resignation to the Will of God Love is suffering as a child. Abba, Father, all things are possible to thee. Remove this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what thou wilt. Abba, Daddy, so Jesus prayed in the face of the most terrible suffering. The adult Jesus still had a child's heart. All things are possible to you. The child's trust is unlimited. Remove this cup from me. The child is afraid of suffering. His whole being revolts against suffering. We are not created for suffering, but for joy. Yet not what I will, but what thou wilt. Childlike surrender is victorious. Jesus, I feel it. So it is right. We should respond like Christ towards suffering. Make our hearts like yours, so that in the face of suffering, these words come over our lips. Let us speak with childlike confidence. The Second Sorrowful Mystery The Scourging of Jesus Fruit of the Mystery Mortification Love is vulnerable. Then Pilate took Jesus and scourged him. Jesus receives the first wounds. Jesus is injured. I too have been injured in the past, and I have taken it badly. Perhaps I am still grudging. Do I forget that I have also injured others? Do I forget that not all pain and sorrow must come from others? I can also hurt myself by doing something wrong or by mistake. Jesus, you patiently endured the injuries inflicted upon you because you have been strengthened by an angel. The angel was sent from God, the Father, who will strengthen us too when we pray to him. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning of Jesus. Fruit of the mystery, humility. Love is suffering. Most of all, God, love itself. Here is the man. See what hatred, scorn, cruelty, all forms of evil have made with this man. All the wickedness of the world has been discharged to this single person. And this man, this man of sorrows, was God. O oh Jesus, what love! People wonder at the suffering in this world. How can there be a loving God and fall into doubt or godlessness? Here, before the raging pain of the bloody, beaten, mocked God, any complaint and any doubt must fade away. No, you are not distant, God, who looks down from heaven with no regard for the suffering of us humans. In Jesus, you have taken all the misery and all the pain upon yourself. You do not leave us alone in suffering and death, because you are our Father. In humble, grateful love, let us pray. The Fourth Sorrowful Mystery The Caring of the Cross Fruit of the Mystery Patience in Adversity Love is willing to take upon himself suffering for his beloved. If any man would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Therefore, the disciples of Jesus overcome their selfishness and bravely accept suffering and tribulations every day for the love of God and the others. How sweet is the way of the cross after you walked on it for us. So speak the saints, the great lovers. Jesus, I want to be your disciple and follow you, but my suffering is still so bitter for me. That shows me how small and weak my love for you still is. This is my greatest suffering, so let me suffer at least in humility as unworthy to suffer something for you who have suffered so much for me. Yes, Jesus, all with you and all for you, and for the eternal joy of my brothers and sisters, so that the Father's infinite love may be revealed to whom we pray. The Fifth Sorrowful Mystery The Crucifixion Fruit of the Mystery Love of Our Enemies 
Love does not accuse, but excuse and forgives. Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. O Jesus, who has suffered more injustice than you, could there be a more sinister act than the murder of God by us guilty humans? Nevertheless, you prayed for your tormentors and excused them. How can I still hold grudges against somebody and blame him? With you, I will pray to the one who forgiveness I also need and say with humility, 